Before we install the last layer of liquid flash, we're gonna take the time to mask off the side of the window. This liquid flash is actually gonna roll past where the fin connects and onto the main substrate of the window, so we wanna protect that from being covered in black liquid flash at final installation. So we're doing this sealing process in two beads. I add a little bit more in the uh, squiggly shaped pattern on the fin than I do on the edge of the window because I need a little bit more material for that bridge. But all of this is literally connecting the side of the window frame back out to an, our original framing buck. I'm gonna take special care to make sure that I really do cover everything. And this time I'm okay with wiping a little bit more out of the corner because it's more about the connection between the silver flange and the color of the window. Now we can call our exterior water management of this window complete. The only thing that's left is removing our tape. I like to wait until the liquid flash is dry. That way I don't risk any of it being on the tape and getting it on the glass or the window. But at this point, we're ready to bring our foam in. Now we'll take our seam tape and we'll just detail out our seams. We're gonna leave the top open in case any water ever migrates in above our window, we want a place for it to get out. Same at the bottom, if we get anything in, we want a place to get out. Now that we have our masking tape removed, this would be the time to add a head flashing if you wanted. For the purposes of this mock-up, we're not going to do that, but let's go inside and talk about how we manage for thermal and air.